Hey, I'm Adam. I'm Brian. Back with another episode of Buds and Suds, and this is a special episode. Where's our party hats? 600. 600. This is number 600. Boom! So what are we doing for 600? 600, this is what we kind of preluded to on one of the last videos, seller surprise. Seller surprise. Um, you know, we've asked, we've been asked before to do you know videos of our seller, and I know I've watched Darwin's and you've watched Darwin's before, and he's got an interesting seller, and we didn't think ours was interesting enough, so we just thought, well, I'll go in his cellar and pull out something and give it that to him I blind. Don't know, yeah. He has no idea what it is, and then he'll do the same for me. And we'll just do them blind and uh, have my wife pour them and i figure if it was the same style then you know it would be blind to both yeah, of us but we we're hoping it wasn't the same beer but we it, it could have happened it could have happened it did not happen unless they're like i don't know uh, it did not happen let's we just can, say that and we can talk about what's in our cellar if if we want yeah. at the end if we don't have enough to say about these but sure no we I have will. A we will. Be a good video. So. i'm excited i like the fact that they're different colors and i do too and i told him based on the style i'm not 100 percent positive which one's mine <laughs> or the one that i picked out of his cellar i have a pretty good idea but uh so do you want to mm. smell them both and go into one or do you want to just start with the glass um let's start with the outside glass. outside glass yeah. all right so this one pours a very dark brown dark chocolate brown. color a little bit of a head still. yeah let's get the nose okay okay so i get some roasted malt i get like this raisin fig aroma this kind of okay. nice fruitiness but there's a, a a sugary sweetness behind it like a brown sugar i I was gonna say I get a little bit of brown sugar, but I, have to I get this kind it. of that that sweet um, candy raisin, uh, but okay. it's subtle. It's it's not very robust. I kind of have to dig for it. I admit, first thing I was getting was malt, and then now I'm starting to get some of the and I get this sugar. and I got this kind of creamy vanilla thing too. Okay. It, uh, it's subtle. Cheers. Right, cheers. Cheers. Okay. That's interesting. Um, Very sweet off the first. Yeah, I mean, it, it, to me it tastes like a, a really nice barley wine. Uh -huh. um, I don't really get any sour note to it. I don't get, I do get some booziness, so I presume it's barrel aged, but. So it, it does taste like a barley wine, and it's got, it's, it was sweet on that first, now I'm getting more of those raisins, uh, kind of a cherry, plum, but I'm getting a little bit of bitterness to it as well. I mean, I know I said it was sweet on the front, but I'm on, on the back I'm getting a kind of bitterness to it after okay. those fruit notes. Definitely, I, I agree, a little booziness to it. Mm -hmm. um, I can't say that I get any kind of barrel, so mm -hmm. I couldn't tell you if it was you know, bourbon or rum or whatever, but I don't get the typical rum sweetness or anything like that. So I would, I would guess it's bourbon barrel aged. But. Yeah. Third sip there, I get less of that back end bitterness. It's kind of settling in nicely for me. I definitely get this oakiness, this woodiness barrel character to okay. it. A little bit of tannin character, I think. Um, it's really good. It's really good. I enjoy this. Okay. Um, hmm. mm, yeah. And, I, and this is one I can't wait. I think as we sip on this and enjoy this, I think it's going to keep getting better because like I, the first sip, I got this sweetness and then this other flavor that I was describing as bitterness. And I was just like, yeah, I don't know. Now it's settling into something. Uh, it's complex, it's fruity, it's sweet. Uh, you know, that raisin, brown sugar, caramel mm -hmm. thing with the, with a nice barrel character. I'm enjoying it more and more. So some things that can give bitterness could be like astringency from coffee. I'm, I don't get any coffee flavor or on the nose. So I would mm -hmm. guess it's not that. Do you get the bitterness that I'm talking about? I get Because it's settling in a little more, yeah. I think. Yeah, it's got a little bitter bite to it. Yeah. Uh, really good. I like that one. Uh, as far as for, uh, well, I don't, how do you want to do Raven? Do you want to talk about the style once we know? Um, uh, or do you, because I think I know this is the one yeah, I picked. Um, yeah, I'd say it's the one you picked. And so I know what it is. Um, well, so. so it wouldn't surprise me if it was an old ale. Uh, it could be something like a curmudgeon's better half or something like that, although I don't remember it being you know, that good. This is better <laughs> than what I remember that being. Yeah. Uh, I don't get any sour notes to it, so mm -hmm. I don't think you pulled out one of my wicked weeds. Um, mm -hmm. uh, wouldn't if it was a, a brown ale with you know like fruit added or something, but I don't have anything in my cellar like that. Mm -hmm. So I, I would either say a barley wine old ale. Um, it could be like a a really old uh, like I've got an old stock in there. Um, could be one of those. But again, that's also that's an old ale. So how do you want to do? Let me tell you what it is. Um, do ratings. Do the next beer and then go back double blind. Well, I mean, I know that's your beer because yep. I know what mine is, and I yeah. know I, I can pretty much tell. Yeah, it. yeah. Um, we can go ahead and just reveal this one. Okay. Uh, let's give ratings first, and then reveal, and then we can go on to 
the one I picked. So do you want me to tell you the style? Or yeah, what's one? the style? It's an, a barrel aged American barley wine. Ah, okay. Do you know what it is now? Yeah, I do. Um, I would not have guessed. Cause I, I didn't, I mean, I kind of get the bitterness, but I just, I didn't get any hot. It was subtle. Yeah, it was subtle. And, yeah. it, and, and it's a 2017. Okay. <laughs> aged in Willow barrels. Yeah, I told someone I was gonna save that, do it with them, but that's I forgot to pull oh, it out. Oh, sorry. Yeah, said, well, it's no big deal. I said my whole cellar was fair game. Yeah. So, yeah, this is uh, Three Floyd's Behemoth Barrel Aged. Yep. Uh, I would never have guessed that. Um, I would have. I mean, the barley wine, yes. I, I don't know if I would have. I kind of get what you're saying as far as bitterness, but I don't get. Mm. A lot, I don't get enough of it for me to have said it was yeah. bitter. But I think all the notes you were talking about and the styles you were talking about is going more towards that American style. It doesn't, I mean, we just okay. did. And the reason I picked this, so when we, we recently did for my 3000th unique check-in on Untapped, we did Beer 3000 or Brew 3000 from Fremont, Fremont Brewing. And one of the comments said, you need to try, uh, do barrel aged behemoth. Oh, uh, okay. I and when I that. saw it in your cellar, I was like, <laughs> yes. That's why it took him like three minutes. I spent like 20 minutes in his cellar. Yeah, up I every saw it. I was like, we've never done this. It's the, it's the yeah. 2017 green wax with sparklies, aged in Willet barrels. Uh, gets good numbers, like yeah. three, four, three, four, or four, you know, kind of four, three, four, four range. Uh, it's a, it's a four, five for me. I, I really dig it. Um, sorry, it's good. but uh, no, it's, well, it's okay. I should apologize to you. You're still getting to have yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> whoever you said you would share it with. Yeah, well, that's uh, okay. I probably forgot by now. That was a long time ago. Yeah, I, I really like it. Yeah. Um, and both of us have said we don't like American barley wines nearly as much because it detracts from the sweetness. Mm -hmm. uh, but to me, it. it doesn't detract at all. I yeah. see what you're saying. There is some bitterness to yeah. it, but it's, it doesn't detract at all. It's not quite that that big, sweet English barrel aged barley wine. I'm sure that, that an English style barley wine could taste like this, but there's just something a little yeah. different. I think that's why you were going like, could this be like, and trying to throw in some other styles in there. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, yeah uh, it's a very well done, very good beer. I think it's really, really good. I was having a hard time pinning down what that extra flavor was, but it, it is a little bit of bitterness. And although it is not as sweet and, and sweet overpowering as Brew 3000, I think I prefer Brew 3000 over this. I, I do too. But this is still this solid. Is still this really is still good. really good. But if I was gonna rank the two, and I didn't do it side by side, but I think, Although they're very both good, and I would recommend this, and I would get this whenever I could. I think I prefer that the sweetness of the beer. I'm gonna give it a four or five. As far as an American barley wine, it's one of oh, the best. It's really I've had. good, yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'll give it a four or five. All right, let's time to switch. Uh oh, everything okay? I, can't, I don't know. I haven't heard any crying. <clears throat> that background noise is my kids upstairs doing something. <laughs> um, all right, so let's get into this Your turn. One. Okay. Ooh, just this nice kind of strawberry, yeah. fruity color, like the like a punch color, um, you know, kind of. I get some purple to the edge. And there's hay, yeah. You look at the edge, there's Yeah, color. and here, I mean, there is, I mean, it's a beautiful color, yeah. and, and uh, it's got some haze in there. It does, all right, let's get the nose. Haze, bro. Hang on. Ooh, ah. that's tart, hang on. Ooh, oh, that is beautiful. so tart. I mean, there's this fruitiness, and there is what kind of fruit? Huh. Oh, gosh, I'm guessing like uh, it's it's like a raspberry. I mean, I mean the color and everything. Um, my mind's going down like fruit things. Raspberry is a common one. Okay, it's not as dark as a blueberry or blackberry. Yeah, it's darker than a peach. Um, I can't think of strawberry tarts that they do. You know what I'm saying? Well, did you even have a strawberry beer in your cellar? No, I did not. <laughs> so it's not a strawberry beer. Cheers. 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 Oh, it's really good. Oh, that is wonderful. All right, I'll let you start it out since I already know what it is. Yeah, so it's just really fruity. Mm. It's tart, but it's not puckering. It doesn't really, I mean, it's, you get a little salivary squeeze, but not a huge one. It's got a wonderful oak. <sighs> tannin character to oh, it. It, does, it just has this, um, like I said, that cotton, mm -hmm. you know, the, you know, scraping across your tongue. Um, very mm -hmm. light drinking beer. I mean, I don't know, sometimes the ABVs can be hidden in these, but it's very light, easy drinking. Yes, it is. Uh, More of the same. I mean, I, I, it's it's complex up front in that you get, you get hit um, some equal times okay. with this, what I'm calling a raspberry, it's almost like a cranberry. I know that I don't have like cranberry beers, but you know how you get that kind of tart raspberry flavor, kind of have like a cranberry twist? 
Um, and you get hit with that, you get hit with these oak tannins, uh, tartness, fruitiness, and that, that, that oaky, woody, tannin mm -hmm. character. Um, really good. So you don't have very many of this style yeah. in your cellar, so there's, you probably could narrow it down pretty quickly. Yeah. Um, what do you think it is? Well, first of all, what's your rating? Uh, you've nailed it. I can't, I couldn't say anything more. Everything yeah. you've said, the only thing I would say is it's got, it's got some funk to it. Um, it like you said, it's not overpowering as far as, you know, pucker, it, a little bit, uh, but that tartness is probably from the fruit. Uh, well, I mean, as well as the style. Yeah. Mm. I know this is wonderful for the style, but as uh, far as the beer I drink, it's a 425. Okay. I'm giving it a 45. Yeah. It, it's phenomenal. Um, we have not, okay, well, what do you think it is first? I'm trying to think what I have in my cellar. I know I have, I, so, I know I have a few side project beers um, that are tart. Um, so I have the blueberry there. I think I have a raspberry one and I have the fuzzy, which is the peach. Uh, one of them, let's see, one of them fence row. Is that the raspberry? And then like punch downs the blueberry. So I've got fence row, which I think is a raspberry. So this could be that. I've got a couple camp. It is raspberry. You got okay. that right. It is raspberry. It's not fence row. No. Um, so I know I have some Cantillon as well, but those, I thought I had a little more funk character to them, but I can't remember. Like I have a Rosé or something, Rosé de Gambrius. I don't remember what that is, but. Uh... Rosé de Gambrinus. Yeah. Rose See, I don't know if I've had this beer. Well, we haven't. We have not reviewed it. Yeah. Um, and we've not reviewed a Cantillon before, so I thought, well, let's do a Cantillon. Hope you weren't saving it for something. I was not. Uh, I, I think it's phenomenal. A four or five for sure. It could even get a little higher than that. It's a lambic um, with, of course, with raspberries. Yeah. Uh, it's a 2015, so it's aged a little bit, probably settled some, um, mm. but it gets great reviews. And uh, as far as lambic, so it's goes, raspberry. It's really good. Yeah. So with lambic, I think it's some funky flavor. Maybe that's there, oh, or maybe for me it's hidden by the raspberry, the the tart. I don't quite. When I describe like the the wild elves or whatever, you know, there's a tartness, and a, mm -hmm. but there's also this funky flavor. Maybe that's there, but I, I think maybe it's it's uh, at least blended or mixed in with okay. that fruitiness. So I don't, I don't. Do you get that? I mean, I feel like I get it. Um, I feel like the raspberry, you know, kind of takes away from it a little bit, but they meant that raspberry. It's so, there. I agree with you. It is there, but. I, I, I didn't pick out the style as lambic, mm -hmm. you know, to go on. I, I didn't know if it was, I, I was going towards the wild sour ale. That's still pretty close. Yeah. Um, Where's the other one? Which cabinet? It's under here too. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I guess I was going to reveal both. <laughs> You're like, yeah, I already know what it is. <laughs> I don't need to bring it out. Boom. Yeah, boom, boom. So that was fun. That was very fun. Seller surprise. Seller surprise. <laughs> So we love these both these yep. beers. Uh, four two five for me, four five for you mm -hmm. on the. Let me try it. Rosé de Gambrinus. Uh, uh, the Gambrinus. Ga Gam so a couple of places pronounce it Gambrinus, and a couple of them Gambrinus. Gambrinus. Um, Is it? And it's Rosé with the, you know, the accent. R right. Rosé. Rosé de Gambrinus. De Gambrinus. Anyway, Cantillon. You, know, you know we love their stuff. We've reviewed them before. That's really cool. Good one for six hundred. And then this one, you guys asked for it. You got it. Barrel aged behemoth. Barrel -aged behemoth. American style barrel aged barley wine wheel barrels 2017. Uh, four fives for both of us. Four five, four two five on that. And this, my rating is probably a style. It's yeah, just, that's okay. you know what I like to drink. And it's, I do. Uh, but I always enjoy trying all kinds of beer, so I don't want to stick with one. Um, but this was a fun 600. All right. Yeah, Here's great. a 600 more. <laughs> 600 more. <laughs> all right, guys. If you have the beer you love, love the beer you have. Thanks. Or the two beers you have. <laughs> Cheers.